back, guys. We are back. Sorry about all this crazy crap. I can help you, Callum. Callum, where are you? I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Come back! Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. They are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can't save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. I think our character has finally lost it. Callum? Callum! Mommy, I'm scared. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Cotton Candy Corpse leaves sour taste in park goer's mouth. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse had yet to be identified. However, they have, to conf they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantis Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victims and will cooperate fully with the authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will... Con uh, blah, blah. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on this ongoing forward or on this story going forward wow I cannot read to save my life I can help you Callum don't let the witch put me in the oven This isn't a game, Callum! Don't let him take me! I did this to him. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh my God. Oh my god. I didn't expect dude to be right on me. Come back! Callum? Oh my god. Callum! The, these are mine. What? Oh. 
Are you better off than you were for, for four years ago? Region 80. Your mother? Say no to graffiti. Oh my god, we are seriously tripping balls. Oh my god. Don't touch me. Future times, belly button is the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every 17th child is a magnet for sinfulness, made omniscient by broken fires in the coastal stream. What? I'm not reading all this. However, this will be on YouTube, so you guys continue to read all of it. Those creepy clowns. We're losing it. God. So what happened? What happened? Yeah, what a strange trip it's been. Achievement unlocked! But we were really tripping on our own meds. Not a good thing. Uh... Whack-a-mole. Yeah, read newspapers. Is it the same one? Wow, it's a whole different... It's that original news cotton candy newspaper. I, I don't understand, but okay. I can help you, Callum. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Hear the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. What secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Callum, where are you? What are you scared of? I'm not playing anymore, Callum! Mommy, I'm scared. I can help you, Callum. Don't let the witch put me in the oven. Callum, where are you? Keep them away from me. Them who? Callum? Callum! All the breadcrumbs. Come back! Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Oh, God. This isn't a game, Callum! 
In we go. I can help you, Callum. I am not liking this one. House of Horrors. <laughs> It is seriously dark in here. Love you too, babe. I hope I don't freak the hell out. Let's see, done. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small minded fools scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I've sent my wife and son back to Boston and I've retreated here. To the house of horrors, I must think. So the owner slept here. Given to me. What do we look like? We look demented. Damn. Jeez, man. Fucking cardboard. Ooh. Hey, you keep scaring me. Well, it was stupid cardboard that got me. That's how you think that makes me feel. No, no, you better work, flashlight. Goodness, guys, this is not cool. Not cool. to me I'm a horrible mother where is he don't leave me whatever yourself <sighs> incidents I cannot dismiss them as random chance the park works but something is interfering with its intended function it's as though the very air in this place is corrupting the power even as I collect it a few casualties casualties here and there are acceptable but when employees go on stabbing rampages it draws attention I'd rather not have the boys in blue, either kind, investigating this place too closely. 
It's a shame about Steve. I I rather liked him. Steam or Steve flipped out and basically stabbed a whole bunch of kids. Oh god. Crazy. Crazy. Not cool. Here we go. We're going after our son. We want him. But we don't sound like a great parent. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Nightmare Circus. A circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner's put to death by an enraged mob of townsfolk. Just as he shouts out a curse, now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. That's not a creepy book. Nope. Looks like uh, mother and son there. After they let me out. They gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Whoa. This sounds like a really, really bad case. Like, maybe mentally she's not all there? And this could be the reason why her son was afraid? But he wouldn't say anything. Maybe two personalities? Don't know. Disconnect notice. After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform that you... That... To, ingrown, to inform you that your service has been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following. Make the payment listed. If you believe that this is an error, call us. If you are unable to make a payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss. What have you done with them? A shocking true hor uh, true story. Hunger. The true story of the Donners. That Donner party, it must have been awesome. You know, back on April 16th in 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500-mile journey to, you know, sunny California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the Sierra Nevada mountains with very little to bite or sup, except each other. It was to become one of the greatest tragedies of westward migration that the world has ever seen. Now, our panel of Donner experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive that terrible winter. In this never-before-seen experience, Bose read about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. All here in the pages of this shocking true story. 
That sounds really gross and disgusting. Wait, my kid's got a bed. Is this us? The Wilting by Susan Anscombe. The sound of Susan Anscombe cements her place as one of the most important science fiction writers of a generation. Uh, the Wilting. A solar flare has struck the Earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global over global global overheating. Wouldn't you just say global warming? An exotic dancer named Chance O'Hara is the key to saving the world again. Really? A stripper. <laughs> just think about it. Not a good idea. Hey, I could never solve those. Those things suck. I hate Rubik's Cubes. My mom and me in the car. Wait, mom and me? I love you. From Callum. I love you, mom. Or Tom or Pam. Callum. Where is my boy? Don't leave me. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, and fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum, electricity bill, fix faucet. Please, make me see. Lorraine, I received your letter and I am quite surprised. You ran off with your father all those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of a map, and then when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write to me asking for help. I have, n I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you. I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. Yes, you were his girl. Never really mine. Still... I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back in my life without picking, up, uh, picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it will be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I am not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again. Karen. Uh, wait. I'm being caught. I think... Karen's writing to Lauren or Lorraine. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Whoa. So it's like almost 10, it's almost nine o'clock in this picture here or in that photo or clock. Miss Mallard, as we agreed on our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. From our illness? What illness? This letter is official. Notification that you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note that you should not you should discontinue any medication that you have been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time that you are suffering a relapse. Please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continued good health. Dr. Spencer Dunwich Medical. Who was that? Uh, 
Lorraine, Lorraine seems to be suffering from a depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her parent, Don, who died about six months ago. There also seems several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. This pa the patient responded and made a rapid recovery. Whoa. Let's see. Aftercare recommendations. Weekly follow-up with a local physician. Mood stabilizers. Lithium-based. Okay, so we're on lithium. We're feeling good. Feeling good. Let's see. Newborn son, Callum, placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression. It's our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her, and as long as she follows her recommended aftercare routine and continues with her medication. Oh, I'm sorry for the awning, guys. We have faith that she will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own housing, and her employer, Susie, has said that she is welcome to return to her shifts at the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, has offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. It is with this support network in mind that we feel confident releasing Lorraine from this institution. Med instructions prescription for Zoloft. Because you can't say Zoloft. Oh my goodness. That can be filled at Flags Pharmacy in Kingsmith. She's been advised to start with 50 milligram dose and then based on the advice of her doctor to increase the medication as needed. Looks like we need like 300 milligram doses. Show yourself. What have you done with him? Oh, Miss Mallard. Our inquiry into the state of Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform that inform you that the primary beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State. The deceased parents, our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regard the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures and they specified that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies, monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation, and I hope that I am not being too forward when I enclose the bill for our services with this letter. Ho ho! Not only did her dude die, but his parents took the money, left her with a bill for handling everything, and she's essentially like screwed. That is messed up. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Come on. We were just here. Oh, snap. Don't make me look at it. Things aren't right between us at the moment. I know I want to try and explain it. I think it's because I am so far from home and I am working so hard every day, working at the park. It gets worse like a spring inside my mind. <sighs> Winding tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guys relax and we laugh and we're, we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. But when this job is done, we need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the city where I don't feel like this anymore. I love you, Donald. P.S. I was thinking about names for boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy and Emma if it's a girl. Oh, that's nice. Two. 
two bottles. Three bottles. I'm about to lose it. Okay, take everything. Remember, take pills, follow up with Dr. Spencer, organize babysitter for Callum. Hey, our shopping list has changed. I wonder if maybe... Hey, there's no wrench. Think, guys. Stop! I didn't run away. Dad took me. Let's do this. There we go. <sighs> Thank you, William, for the new watch. It is very nice. It has made me a happy carrot. Who the hell's William? Don't leave me. What have you done with them? The drawers out. Tons of pills. <gasps> the picture changed. Um, I don't like this. We've gone downstairs three times to the exact same apartment. We get handprints. We'll look like devil children. Bloody pictures. Oh no. See her try. Yeah. Her lie. She lot say Okay. Bye bye. Something her why. Says say bye bye in green. 
What's orange? Her lie, huh? See her lie? Say bye bye. Wow. See her cry. Say a lie. She. 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 Say a lie. Uh, prescription. Remember, more pills, tickets to Atlantic Island Park. Show yourself. More pills. Weird little mommy car ride. Leave me alone. History of Solomon Island. This isn't good. And there's no door now. Oh, that must be me and Don. Let's see, my two best friends, Don and Laura. My two best friends. It's got no eyes, man. You're alone. Nobody loves you. Callum is no longer who he once was. Whoa. Ooh, don't tell me we hurt our son. Oh my god. <gasps>
when you're done with him. Don't make me look at it. It's the it's the prescription. to our meeting today, we consider you to be batshit fucking insane. Let's be clear, you're in no way sound of mind and body. You are a danger to everybody around you. Please note that your only escape from this should be drugs. A crap load of them. Smoking, snorting, oral, intravenous. Take them any way you can and as often as you can. This crap can only make your life better. In case there was any doubt, you are suffering a relapse and nobody really cares. Have a nice day. Nobody can help you now. Don't fuck this up. Dr. Spock, Dunwich Medica. Oh my god. So we're relapsing right now into this weird... Weird... Like, dementia-like state. Oh... Not good. Not good. Leave me alone! I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Show yourself! Chains and hooks? Given to me. Oh, I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Oh, my God. Goodness. You will watch me rot. are told again and again and from their shape we build our understanding of the world two children are led into the woods they are lost for a time but then are captured by an old witch a child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park he wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch in the oldest version of this story the mother and the witch were the same person I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Kids broke in today. It's been so long since I heard laughter. So very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. This boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, warring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Oh my god, is it us? Leave me alone! What have you done with him? Don't leave me! 
We keep calling out. Eyes without sparkle. Stop! Hansel and Gretel. It's Chad. Lorraine, Lorraine, don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. What? Have I been sitting here telling this story the whole time? Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. Yo, last Hokage. What's up? In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Dreamlike state achievement unlocked. Dude, was that it? No, no freaking way. Oh. Oh my god, no way, man. No freaking way. Wow. That's one hell of a game, guys. That's how it ended? I feel like that was really short. Really, really short. Wow. Draven joined your channel. Go, man. What did you think about that ending? Is that is that the only ending? Yeah. Oh. Jesus. Like it's man. Like I feel like we were like two sides. The whole time, like we were freaking batshit crazy, and then like we were the good mom, and the good mom was trying to be there for him. Damn, <laughs> the park guys. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I left your stream up and running, and I left the volume on. That way, I could hear when you finished playing it. 
It's just one of those things, guys. Like, it's it's real feelsy. I don't, I don't know. Maybe she was fighting her own demons, and this was uh, essentially what happened. See if we continue game, let's see. I just want to see if there's anything new. Let's see, come on. We're gonna see what happens, guys. Oh my god, doors are opening right now. yourself wait I don't think I was supposed to be looking that way what the hell wow the, like this game is really short stories are yeah told again and again. I didn't want to say anything, from their though, shape we when you were around. getting all worried about losing your save data yeah I, wow man that is crazy so you were the witch. Uh, apparently, let's see. The park's psychological thriller set in the Secret World universe. The Secret World is a massive multiplayer online game in a modern day setting where the terrifying myths, legends, and conspiracies of our world are all coming true. Wow. We want to thank players of the Secret World who have also purchased the park by providing these unique in-game items for use in the Secret World. Chipmunk killer outfit. Steve Gardner was dressed to kill when he brutally slaughtered those teenagers at the Atlantic Park in 1979. Now you can dress up like a murderer too. Huh, that sounds great. Uh, the woodcutter's talisman. It's it's quite literally it's a hatchet. A powerful legendary QL 10.9 talisman available in three different versions. One for tanks, healers, and damage dealers, each with a unique ability. Interesting. So I'm going to guess the Secret World Universe is actually like an MMO. Yes, it is. It's that actual MMO that's going on right now. Wow. <sighs> Add these items to your Secret World account. Please sign in below. Items can only be added to one account. Okay, you can try the Secret World for free for seven days by downloading the trial. And if you decide you like it after doing that trial, you just have to purchase the actual game and you're good to go for playing it. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. wow. The MMO is enjoyable, though, so. At least in. I think it is. Oh my goodness. Doja says it sucks. I see. <laughs> So, Doja, you don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's see. Twitch chat. <laughs> he agrees. Too funny. There we go, guys. So, essentially... Uh, this game is really short. Um, wow. So, my... Man. 